I'm raising the roof. That just told you guys that I am 30 years old. It looks nothing like it's supposed to, but it's cute. Honey, I'm home. I don't wanna eat a soft grape. He's laser focused on the Starbucks window. So this is the shoe situation right now. Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. Oh, he came right over, he knows. Do you want to say hello? You would love to say hi to the vlog. Does anyone else just like kiss their dog all day? I wish he was lighter or I wish I was like insanely strong because I would literally just hold him all day. Like he loves to just be held. He's a big baby. <laughs> Look at him, like he's just content. Chilling, I'm so sorry, you're so heavy. I love you though. I mean, he's pushing 30 pounds. <laughs> it's no small feat, Bruni. It is such a dreary day today. I need caffeination. Okay, I did get a new sugar-free creamer that we're gonna try, and it could be delicious. It could be disgusting. Let's, let's see. Let's get some ice. If it's horrible, I do have my usual Italian sweet cream, so we'll see. So I got the Coffee Mate Zero Sugar Cinnamon Roll flavor. I really, I don't, oh, I should have made a, a small, I shouldn't have done like the full amount of coffee. Cause if we don't like it, we're risking wasting some cold brew. Cause I was surprised. I tried the um, hazelnut one a while back and I really didn't like it. Uh, and I love hazelnut, so I don't know. I guess maybe I'm, Picky, I don't know. My favorite coffee straw. All right, let's see. Hmm, pretty good, Bruni. That's kind of slaps. I'm raising the roof. That just told you guys that I am 30 years old. I just raised the freaking roof. I'm old. I'm officially old. I've been old. Who am I kidding? Okay, that's actually really good. It's like cinnamony. A little bit sweet. It's not too sweet though, because my biggest fear is that it was gonna be just like really sweet and like artificially sweet, but it's actually really good. Bruno just broke into his toy basket. Honestly, I think the main reason I put all his toys away at night is so the next morning I can watch him pull them out because it's so cute. All right, so since it is a rainy, dreary day today, um, we're gonna be just like getting stuff done around the house. I have a ton of Amazon packages to open. I need to go to the container store because I wanna get some organization for below the sinks in our master bath. We literally don't have anything under the sinks in our master bath. Like a few miscellaneous like things, but not much at all. So we keep a lot of it in that closet in there. So I wanna remove some of the stuff that's in that closet and put it under the sink. Cause it's like really inconvenient to like go to that closet every time I wanna get like a washcloth or something when I wash my face. I also need to go to like PetSmart or Petco to get him more of his little like treats. He likes the same treats. Um, so I might take him along for that, obviously, so he can like go in the store and socialize. I also am like determined. <laughs> oh, I really need to commit to this. I really need to commit to learning Spanish. I like, I, so I did Spanish in high school and I actually was an advanced. Like I was really pretty good at Spanish, not to toot my own horn, but like, you know, over time you just kind of lose it. And like, I want our future kids to like be bilingual because you are bilingual and I want them to be able to like speak both languages and um, I need to. <laughs> I want to learn Spanish fully. So like I had been doing Duolingo on and off for the last few years and I need to really just commit to it this year. Like, especially since we're trying to get pregnant, like I need to like really commit myself. So I was thinking about doing it every night before bed, but like, I'm too tired by the end of the day. I'm kind of just like over it. I don't think my brain is functioning the best it could. So I'm gonna try to commit to doing it every morning, literally for just like five minutes. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and we're gonna do Duolingo. If you wanna learn a language this year, this is your sign. We can do this and we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it. And it's so sad too, cause like, if you don't keep up with it like I had made so much progress and now I'm like I can't I can't just pick up where I left off I was in like the travel section like maleta boleta like I remember the words but like ugh, I have to I have to start over I have to start over translate this sentence Muy bien. very good see it like I know these <laughs> I won't be like learning new things for like a week but I have to get through this little o sea, está bien. 
I have to get through the beginning. I'm gonna do my five minutes of Duolingo for the day. It's actually pretty good. It kind of, it's kind of giving like that cinnamon dolce syrup from Starbucks that Yara likes, but sugar-free, pre-creamed. I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, I did my Spanish lesson of the day. Uh, we did a lot, honestly, because I'm trying to get through those beginning classes. So I want to attempt to be those people, one of those people that can just like throw on the very littlest amount of makeup. Cause with me, it's like all or nothing. Like for running errands, you know, just like a little something something. So I'm gonna do my NARS soft matte concealer. We are at the bottom of her, so. And I'm just gonna like stipple that over my blemishes. Thankfully, it's a really good color match. I'm gonna take like the excess under my eyes, not a lot, like such a small amount, but like it makes a big difference. And the excess up on like my red areas, my red cheeks, like that actually, it's concealing, oh my God. Concealer conceals. It's a miracle. And just buff it in, you know. I feel like this is the perfect concealer though for this kind of thing, cause it's like, I don't know. The texture of it is just kind of easy. And this is one of those Jessup brushes, the Amazon brushes that are super affordable. This is the number 110. I'm gonna link those brushes again if you need makeup brushes. These are so good and they're so affordable on Amazon. They're like such good quality. See like that actually really, <laughs> that really did something. You're probably like, no I didn't. <laughs> and then just like the tiniest amount of blush. This is Cherry Blossom from Nude Sticks. I'm gonna just mix that with like, a tiny bit of bronzer and that's just to like give some life back into the face it just feels so unnatural for me to like not go all or nothing <laughs> it's either like there's nothing on my face or there's a lot on my face do some nyx thick it stick it brow gel love this stuff and then i'm just gonna curl my lashes and do some mascara so it's like gonna be really like two minute makeup people who can curl their lashes and like pinch their skin like alex earl I'm like, no, it hurts so bad. <laughs> like, if I don't, if I'm not very careful with how I curl my lashes, my eyes are burning and watering. I'm just a sensitive girly, especially my eyes. One of the reasons, a side note, this is like the only reason I won't get LASIK eye surgery is because I wear, so I wear contacts every day and my contacts are shields for my eyes. My eyes are so sensitive. And when I wear my contacts, they like literally protect them from pain. Like if I try to wear any, any eye makeup without my contacts, my eyes burn. If I cut an onion without contacts in, severe burning pain. My eyes are like ridiculously sensitive. They really are, it's so annoying. Cause like I would love to get LASIK and never have to wear contacts or glasses again, even though the surgery like petrifies me, but I just think my life would be a lot harder, especially because I like love makeup and stuff. Okay, and we're gonna finish off with some Milk uh, Glossy Lip Plumper. It's just like the clear one. I like this a lot. The best trick I can say with lashes, once they're like dry, but like you had just done them, push them up, flatten them <laughs> against your lid and they will stick like straight up. But don't do it while they're still like wet or you'll get mascara all over your eyelid. But like it really, we're raising the roof again, okay. I wanna do like a cute up hairstyle today. Even though my blowout is still thriving, it really is. Um, gosh, should I just leave my hair down? It does look, it does look kind of slay. But like I saw, I've seen, so, I'm on like hair TikTok I think. And like I always see so many cute, fun hairstyles. And I'm like, I wanna do those. So like there's this, updo with the clip but like it's like kind of raised so like they kind of do that thing <laughs> this is so this is tiktok versus reality where like you pull the hair through is my hair too thick for this i think it's too thick for this <laughs> okay wait and you like pull the ponytail through like that right and then you like clip it up. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> okay, wait. 
Okay, wait, wait, why is it kind of cute? I don't know how it looks in the back. But that's really none of my business. It's kind of like, it doesn't look anything like the video that I watched, but it's adorable. This is so cute. It's like, it's kind of giving like messy 2000s. I actually love it. It looks nothing like it's supposed to, but it's cute. Oh my God, okay. And I think I'm gonna like spray my bangs so they're not like falling in my face, but they're still kind of like face framing. You just never know. You just never know. Try it. You never know. Oh, it's so fun. Now we are ready to run our errands. Bruno and I are in the car. Uh, switch to the car cam, aka the old iPhone. So I'm gonna do a very small Target pickup just because we ran out of orange juice and toilet paper. And I'm telling you, I've shared before, Target lately has had the best green grapes. Like the best. I got grapes from Whole Foods last week. They were so bad. Like they were a few vlogs back. They were like so soft. And I don't know about you, I don't want to eat a soft grape. No. Like the green grapes at Target. They even have good reviews on the app when I was doing my pickup order. I'm like, people know about the green grapes. And I've ordered them multiple times. They've never not been good. So I'm doing my Target pickup and then Bruno and I are going to run to PetSmart or Petco. I don't know which one I go to. <laughs> I feel like I go to either one. I really don't know. I've got my Stanley filled with water. I'm gonna um, run errands with Bruno now and then bring him home and then go out to the container store by myself. But um, I like to run errands where he can come with because he he just is so zen in the car. Like anytime I'm in the house, I'm like, you wanna go for a ride? He's like, yeah, I wanna go for a ride. I wanna go for a ride. I wonder if Bruno had like a human voice, what it would sound like. Like, would he sound like, hello, or like, hey bro. <laughs> I don't know why I like just made him a surfer. <laughs> right the drive up, Mr. Sploot. Mr. Sploot. Are you gonna tell them we're here? We're gonna go to the, the pet store and get some tweets. And God knows I'll probably get you another toy. And it's gonna be a big mistake because you're gonna squeak it all day. But you deserve it. Okay, we just got our Target bags in the back seat. You bring everyone lots of joy. You bring everyone a lot of joy, yeah. I like bringing him like where I can too because like it's good for him to like A socialize with people and B it usually makes people like really happy and I like to make people happy. They get to pet you and say hi to PetSmart or Petco, I'm not sure. I feel like spoiling Bruno so we're getting him a pup cup. I didn't have breakfast yet either so I'm gonna get some eggs at Starbeans and get him a little pup cup. You know where you are huh? You know you're about to get pup cup! You want a pup cup wanna? We're next in line. He knows. He's laser focused on the Starbucks window. Oh my goodness. You want your pop cup? Ooh, delicious. Is he so yummy? We haven't had a pop cup in a while. Yummy. Are you so excited? Yes. I bet you can smell a lot of dogs over here. That's probably the pee spot, huh? Okay, let's go, Baba. <laughs> you excited? Let's go. Bruno has one of these from Wild One and he loves it. I like Wild One. Let's see. Oh my God. <gasps> Bruni, 12 days to play. <gasps> oh, it's on sale. We should get it for next year, honestly. Here's the Valentine stuff. Nope, he said, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, he would like this. These rubber things. Oh my God, they're so cute. You wanna pick a bone? <laughs> All right, let's get you some smart bones. I know you love these. Okay, these are the grapes. Again, just firm and amazing. So I'm gonna prep these, put them in a bowl in the fridge so they're ready to eat at all times. Honey, I'm home. All right, we're gonna try to be good <laughs> and focus on what we need. But of course, I'm in the organization for like the closet section. These are what I have for my jewelry. I have, I think this one. But like, you can get customized different things, you know, for whatever you have, like earrings, bracelets, etc. So these are great. Okay, so here is the bathroom. Ooh, that's nice. For like makeup, makeup brushes skincare organizer even for like your lipsticks i love this stuff i really do now this this is fantastic oh, for like in my drawers in my office 
I don't need it now, but it's a cool idea for the future because that, that's a hefty price tag. But they also have like acrylic ones, which are a bit cheaper, I think because that one's like a fancy material, but these are nice. These acrylic organizers. Okay, so like they only have these and like they're kind of pricey. I can get like two for less than that on Amazon. So I might, I might hold off. I don't know. Oh wait, <laughs> they have some similar ones, but they're like wire. They have these, I don't know. They just don't seem that great. Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice quality one. I don't know why there's an alarm going off. But um, I don't think I've ever left the container store with nothing, so wow. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked there wasn't anything that I really needed. And like I said, I'm really proud of how much organization we've done over the last few years. So they didn't have anything that I really needed. Also, I'm sorry, I cannot spend 40 bucks on one undersink organizer when I saw them on Amazon where you can get two for 20. So, uh, and they come tomorrow. So I'm just gonna hold off and... Uh, get it there okay let's dive into opening my Amazon packages I do have uh, some more coming today I just get everything on Amazon honestly household stuff organization stuff fashion stuff beauty stuff it's just so convenient but this is a project we're gonna do today I'm so excited I got these black hook rod things for the curtains they look like this you know, you just clip your curtain and then it has a little ring that goes around the rod. Um, and I got a ton of them, great price. Also, I just feel like everything is a better price on Amazon. So I've been trying to figure out like, why don't my curtains look like everyone else's? I want them to have that like really nice fold. I don't know, there's just like a specific look that I haven't been able to get. And I'm like, okay, the common denominator <laughs> is the little, curtain hooks. So we're gonna try and see if those make our curtains look good. I'm gonna start with the one in the kitchen um, cause then I have the two other ones over on that side of the house. So we'll try them first. I think I have enough for all of them, honestly. Like this is a ton of hooks. I think it's, oh, it's only 40. I don't know how many we'll use on each one. So um, I'm also contemplating getting more curtains to have like that more of that thickness, probably not in the kitchen sliding door one, but in the other rooms, cause they just look more full and like luxurious. Yes, I'm are. Okay, so I have been wanting to try this for so long. The Benetint from Benefit, the uh, Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. This has been around forever. Um, I have not tried it <laughs> for some reason. Um, but I feel like this would be so pretty on days like this where you're not wearing a lot of makeup, but just like stain your lips. I just put on chapstick, but whatever. <laughs> the dog is chewing a bone. I don't know if this will work over chapstick. That was not my brightest idea. But like just to give a little tint to the cheeks, you know? I mean the lips, but you can do it on your cheeks too. Um, I don't think it's gonna absorb properly with the chapstick. We'll try it again another time. Okay, next cannot find any of my scarves. I found a very small amount. I can't find a lot of our winter stuff. So I have like no scarves. So I found this really cute Burberry dupe on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's so freaking cute. I'm a scarf girl. I love wearing like my coat open with my scarf just flowing like this. It has fringe on the end, little tassels. It's really soft and it was such a good price. I'll link it, I'll link all this down below. Oh, next up, this is actually from Skims. So they dropped their new Henleys. So I grabbed two just to see how they are. Ooh, oh, that fabric. They just, they know how to do their fabric. I don't understand what's in the fabric, but it's so, so just soft and stretchy. It just feels like skin. So I got these, I think just in a 2X. Um, so I got the gray one. I only got two because, you know, I'm like, I don't know if these are going to be worth it or not, but I do love a good Henley just for like chilling. You can lounge, you can dress it up, um, but the fabric is very nice. So I got the gray and then I also got this like gorgeous chocolate brown. I love chocolate brown. So cute. Oh, I do. I like this fabric. So I just grabbed those two. Okay. So I got these joggers on Amazon in a different color a few weeks ago. 
because you guys know I'm all about like elevated basics lately. So these are from Adidas and I grabbed them in this creamy kind of beigey color, almost like just a vanilla. And then it has the Adidas logo in white on the side, but I got them in a 1X, I think. Yeah, I got them in a 1X and I just love these joggers. They are just really, really, really nice quality. I love the fit of them. So I have been loving my Old Navy joggers, but the only thing is I'm 5'7 and a half, and after I wash them, even if I like don't dry them on high heat, um, like they just like shrink and they come above my ankles and it's just like it's uncomfortable and they pill a lot in the inner thighs. I do love them, but like the quality is just like not there and especially how much I like wear them, so. These are really, really good quality. So I'm so glad I grabbed them in this color. The other color I wear is like, it's like this maroonish, not maroon, it's like purpley. I wore it in a TikTok the other day, but I wear them all the time. So now we've got them in cream. I grabbed some magic erasers. We use these a lot um, since all of our walls are white. You know how it goes. Okay, when we make air popped popcorn, <laughs> these are huge. <laughs> look at these i normally get the small ones these are so big they're as big as my head um the white cheddar popcorn seasoning from kernel seasons is so good so we do like some spray butter flavored spray um and then this and it's just like so yummy i also grabbed a new phone case in this really pretty um lilac color i had this one before and it broke i have tried other iphone cases that are like silicone because that's my favorite because they have like grip so like if i'm leaning it against a wall or i don't know like the silicone i just need them to be silicone because they have that nice like grip um i've tried other ones that are not the apple brand the magsafe is never as good and you guys know i'm a magsafe girl with my magsafe pop socket this is from amazon too i will link it <sighs> you can't go wrong with an apple iphone case with the pop socket magsafe you can use the magsafe chargers the magsafe car um little holder that goes on your vent a vent clip one <sighs> the best combo and this is like giving spring i don't know about you but after christmas my mind is on spring also grab some swiffer duster refills amazon's like a go-to spot for cleaning refills okay so yar ordered this for our garage gym it is a like wall clock but it also has the date um the temperature and has a 12 hour time and 24 hour time ours in the army so military time is often around in this house but uh yeah it's like this big digital wall clock you can do different colors um and i just think it's gonna be nice in there so he grabbed this it has the temperature and stuff that's the amazon haul i'm gonna put all this away and i will link everything including the skims down below because these these feel nice i don't know if they're still available i feel like skim stuff sells out really fast but if they're available i will link them and they actually look true to size because some of their tops i feel like run small and i like to size up those look a bit more true to size <laughs> a lot more true to size all right let's do the curtain transformation <laughs> I call it a curtain transformation, but it's really just like a small switch. I'm gonna play a podcast while I do this. I don't know why it just looks so much better and i do think if you double up on curtains and like do two then you'll get that really nice like stacked folded look so i do think in the other room where we have two big windows with these i think i'm gonna get extra curtains to like give it that nice luxurious look and use more of those hooks i might need one more pack 
because I ended up using 10 on each side here. I definitely didn't need to use 10, but um, I probably could have got a, well, mm, I think I like the 10. I think any less would have looked kind of weird. So honestly, that was a big success. Okay, so here's the thing. If I'm ever on the floor doing any sort of like cleaning or anything, Bruno thinks it's playtime. If I'm on the floor, it's playtime. <laughs> So I, okay, ow, you're biting my skin, sir. So I have been needing to go through my shoes in here. So this opens and we have shoes. <laughs> so um, yours are on that side, mine are on this side. And then we have some shoes in the coat closet over there. So I need to figure it out. <laughs> because I don't have my shoes well organized at all. And you know we're in the middle of our cleaning slash organizing series right now. So I've learned with age that I'm a comfort girly. I really just like to be comfortable. Um, I'm not the type to wear heels because they look cute. I wanna be comfortable over cute. And I realized lately I haven't been utilizing this properly just because like all my summer shoes are in here and I need to be smarter and like, like put shoes away that are off season you know but i do want to keep them kind of close by for when we go to florida next month my mom and i are going to florida oh, i loved these target shoes so yeah like my sandals need to be put away oh and i have been looking for these my starbucks crocs oh my god these are so comfortable yara and i went into like this running store like randomly and i don't know i bought these on a whim because they just looked really comfortable the most comfortable what brand is this ufus Ufos, O O F O S. And they're just like plain black sandals with like a shiny top. They are so, they're like walking on clouds. These are from a new day at Target. So yeah, I need to like bring these upstairs. I kind of put like my off season shoes upstairs in that cabinet that's in my office. And then I want to keep like my more in season shoes down here. We got a random pair of socks. Okay. So I like wearing sneakers a lot, so I'm gonna leave those. And I'm gonna bring the other ones upstairs and transport some of the shoes that are in the coat closet to here so they're a little bit more, you know, in my vision because ADHD, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> up in my office now I just went ham I grabbed all the shoes that were in the garage in that closet and essentially huh, I just carried a ton of shoes upstairs um, I'm going to pack away like summer shoes and kind of like going out shoes in here just because like I like having designated spots for things it helps obviously so Downstairs in the entryway, that's where I have like sneakers, my Uggs, like my day-to-day -day shoes. And then up here will be the going out and summer shoes. I might even only be able to fit my going out shoes here and then I'll have to pack the summer ones away. So I just have all of my shoes right here. My little Gucci sandals, I love these. I'm definitely gonna bring these to Florida. I've had these Gucci slides forever, they are coming apart it's so sad i wonder if i could like super glue it but they're also they are beaten i wore the crap out of these these i love these are from primark these chunky mules with the gold chains oh i got these towards the end of the season from torrid um my feet it's hard because since i've lost weight my feet are like sometimes they fit in the wide sometimes the wide's too big sometimes the like regular width is too narrow sometimes it's not so it's kind of just it oh, just is what it is but um these are super cute these are like the chanel sandals a little dupe from torrid um i'll see if they still have them because they're so cute they're a little bit wide um but i can still wear them i've got these little sandals oh the hokas my hoka sandals my two pairs my two favorite pairs at the moment of boots you guys know the river island ones 
with the kind of Chanel look and then the patent faux leather. They're so cute and they're very comfortable. I also have these. These are brown booties. I got these on Amazon. They're from Cushion Air. I love Cushion Air. They're wide. These Target sandals. Definitely want to bring those. Um, these are really old, but I just love them. I refuse to get rid of them. These are Sentimental ER. Got these for me. Um, I want to say it was our first birthday together. He got these for me for my birthday. They're like custom Nikes that have my name on them. My other Hoka's. These are the recovery slides. They're oh, so comfortable. Amazing to just wear around the house. These sandals as you saw and then these sandals as well. So this is the shoe situation right now. Oh my god I wore these the other day. I love these. They're my cowboy boots from Arula. They're wide width. So cute. So comfortable. Wide width. I have these wedge booties. These are from Dolce Vita. So I have kind of like this kind of boot, like a Chelsea boot in like brown, tan, and black. I've had these forever. These faux snake skin booties from Torrid. They're very comfortable. These are from Lane Bryant. These are kind of like a faux snake skin Chelsea boot. They're like the dream cushion, so they're very comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but I just have no desire to wear like high boots anymore. Like that zip up over my calf I don't know I just like don't even think about wearing them because I'm like what would I even wear it with like skinny jeans I don't even really wear skinny jeans anymore so I have those I also have just like a classic black pair I might give these to my mom to sell on Poshmark these are like barely worn they even still have the tags on them Lane Bryant so I'll link my mom's Poshmark she sells some of her clothes and my clothes on there I got these at Primark and I don't like the fit so I'm gonna give her those those are hey don't chew those <laughs> oh these are so cute these are like these booties with this like you know I don't even know how to describe this like an asymmetrical heel and they're just like this shiny kind of red cherry brown oh these are my sexy heels that I never wear. They're like faux patent leather from Torrid. They're so gorgeous. I, I refuse to get rid of them. When am I gonna wear them? Probably never. These boots, booties are from Torrid. Pointy toe, wood heel. I feel like they're a staple. So those are my winter like going out shoes. So I need to fit them in here. <laughs> I also have these two up here a little bit like shorter width because I have booties down here and then I have like short shoes he up here oh my gosh I've had these forever <laughs> forever years and years from Primark they're just like this mule with a block heel and they're just like a staple like I will not get rid of them oh these are from Walmart these are so cute little block heel good going out shoe Another block heel, but a thong sandal. These are from Torrid. This is where I get my shoes. These I wore to Lily's wedding. These are just like a standard width I got at TJ Maxx, I think. I literally have like never worn these. I think I'm gonna sell these. These are so cute. These are from Lane Bryant. They have like an espadrille bottom. They're super cute for the summer. I bought these in Vegas. They're my only pair of Louboutins. Louboutin. I've heard people say them different ways. I'm not fancy enough to say it the right way. But these lubes are so pretty. My one pair of red bottoms. They have like an asymmetrical front. Um, they're so uncomfortable, like painfully. I should honestly sell them. I've barely worn them. Oh, these were my go-to shoes when I worked at MAC. These were so comfortable. They're from a brand called Cougar. They're so comfortable. Like some of the most comfortable booties ever. Oh, I love these. I love these shoes. They're from Torrid. This like kind of jelly looking periwinkle block heel sandals. Oh, I'm definitely bringing these to Florida. They're so cute for outfit picks. And then I have this pair from Steve Madden, which is just a standard width, kind of similar, the studs on it. I'm just surrounded by shoes, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm just in a sea of shoes now that I've been like hauling my shoes. We're gonna get to Organizing so I'm gonna play my podcast boop
hot, so I put on a t-shirt. Um, I also haven't taken down my Christmas decor in here yet on my shelves, so I'm gonna put that away. I am leaving the light up tree in our bedroom just because I love it. <laughs> I love how like cozy it is. There's not even ornaments on it or anything. It's just like a skinny tree with the lights. You guys have seen it before. So I'm leaving that for now, but I am gonna take down this decor. Okay, so, um, so much progress with the organization. I vlogged as much as I could, but I got a little bit in the zone. <laughs> so we also just got some more packages delivered. So I'm gonna open them. I feel like this vlog is gonna be really long for one day. <laughs> but I know you guys like the long vlogs. Okay, so you guys know I did a Sephora pickup the other day. I have in stock alerts on Sephora and like pretty much everywhere if I'm like waiting for something, do an in stock alert. I am very close to being done with my Makeup by Mario Hue lip pencil, so I got an in-stock alert and I was like, yes. I've also been wanting to try the Dior lip oil that has been out of stock forever. So these two, I'm pretty sure came back in stock the same day. So I was like, okay, I just got these two things. Oh, it came with a sharpener. That's nice. You guys have seen me wear this so, so much. So I'll link that. And then I've been dying to try the Dior Lip Glow Oil. It's so popular. Oh, it's dripping. It is a nice applicator. <laughs> it's like this huge doe foot. And it just like, oh, it just glides on your lips. Nice and shiny. I mean, it's just like a nice gloss. It's not like sticky. It feels kind of hydrating. Um, it just seems like it's gonna be a nice staple to have. And I'm so happy I got another one of these. I should have probably bought a couple <laughs> to stock up because I feel like these sell out all the time so we're finishing up like the very last of our bath and body works candles and you guys know we have been well <laughs> we i say we um because like we're on this journey together um i have been looking into finding the best soy candles or just non-toxic candles um and i've tried a few now and i feel like i've come to the conclusion that my favorite brand is sweet water decor i tried at least three different brands over the last month and this is by far my favorite they're on amazon and they come in different containers different styles so i've just had like these basic little glass ones so i ended up getting this really pretty one that kind of looks like a hearth and hand look in this pretty ceramic container this one is salt and sea it smells amazing so these are soy wax and yeah they actually have a really good throw a strong scent um, and they're non-toxic. So that's my consensus as of right now. If you have a favorite non-toxic candle brand, let me know. Mm, that smells really good, nice and springy. And then another Amazon order, we give Bruno a dental stick, dentist sticks. Um, we give him one every day and his breath never smells. <laughs> and it's his little thing with his dad. Yar will do um, like impulse control and it's their little thing. Bruno gets so excited every morning to do it. And I just got some more silk hair ties or hair scrunchies, I guess, from Kish. Um, Cause I only have one silk hair scrunchie <laughs> and I use it every night. So um, I wanted to have just a few more cause I thought I lost it the other day and I always sleep in a silk scrunchie. And Kish is just one of my favorite brands. So these are really pretty. They're like nude leopard print. So um, I just prefer to use the silk to sleep because it's better for your hair. And I always sleep with my hair in like a loose bun. That candle smells so good. Like it's not even lit and it's just like smells amazing. So the last thing is some new underwear from Torrid. Um, I got a bunch of new undies from Torrid with uh, the sale they had the other day. I really needed new thongs. So I just got uh, a few pairs of underwear. That's all. But these are really cute. They're like ribbed. These ones are like sparkly. And I like their um, underwear because they come up to like the perfect height. Um, I feel like if, if I don't opt for like a plus size underwear, sometimes like the cut will be weird on like the stomach or they're just not high enough. So I still prefer for the most part to buy plus size um, underwear, especially Torrid. Like they're my go-to for underwear, bras and stuff like that. So, all right, I think I'm gonna import all this footage. <laughs> and um chill out it's already three o'clock we've just been we've been on it today okay you guys it is the next day i actually wore my hair like this two days in a row that's how much i love this hairstyle and i'm also wearing the new skims henley tops they're so nice 
They fit like a glove. They feel really good on the body. This vlog literally has potential to be an hour long. <laughs> I probably should have split it into two. Cause like I imported the footage yesterday. I guess some of it's gonna be sped up, but I was like, why do I have over an hour of footage? <laughs> Sometimes I think I laugh like a rooster. Car chats with Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're gonna get. It is another dreary day and it's messing with the old mental health. I don't want to do anything at all. I just love this hair. I feel like it's just giving millennium. Millennium? Millennial? It's giving early 2000s. So it's Friday, you know the drill. Went to the gym this morning and then I went home, showered. I filmed a little mini TikTok reel this morning. Just like getting ready, post gym productivity. Um, I love, I just love these little mini vlogs as well. And I was kind of worried about like doing that kind of stuff because I'm like, am I gonna be able to like balance vlogging and then doing like mini vlogs on top of it? Because it's rough because one is vertical and one's horizontal, so you can't really like film them both simultaneously. It's kind of like one or the other, unless you like set up a camera tripod and a phone tripod. And then it's just, and then it's just not even fun anymore. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I am driving to this Target a little bit further. I mean, it's literally 17 minutes versus the one that's like 10 minutes from our house because I've been on the hunt for Cupy Mayo. Um, TikTok, Emily Mariko a year or two ago was big on the Cupy Mayo. And I, I know that's where I got it from. I'm Trust me, I know that it's popular in many other aspects, but that's where I discovered it when it was like going popular um, from her like salmon rice video. And that has become one of my absolute favorite, favorite meals uh, where you mash up the salmon and the rice. Oh no, that's a bad accident. Oh, I hope they're okay. Oh, that's bad. I got Bruni with me, um, <laughs> my little car companion. But anyway, I got really, really into the Cupy Mayo and like I have this like regular old mayonnaise from Whole Foods and I'm like, it just doesn't hit the same. Um, and I wanted to make that for lunch today. My favorite the rice with salmon, sriracha and the Cupy Mayo. Um, a lot of people would like, well, I think it was the whole trend was when they put the seaweed over it, but I actually preferred it without the seaweed, personally. I didn't mind the seaweed, but I just prefer it without it. So that's like one of my favorite meals. The flavors are so, so good. And none of the grocery stores around here had it. None of the targets around here had it. I looked on Instacart, everywhere around me was sold out. Um, and then all the targets around me were sold out. So I'm like, I'll take a little drive to go get my QB mayo. I can see the trolls now. She's driving so far for food. She's addicted to food. If I was thin, no one would say a word. But that's the internet. That's just life. Anyway, we're getting to the, we're getting to the end of this vlog here. Um, I just thought I would <laughs> wrap it up with this little car vlog on our, on our QB mayo mission. That should be the title of this. Cupy Mayo mission and like no one will understand because it's at the very end. They'll be like, what is she talking about? Anyway, <laughs> let's go get our Cupy Mayo. We only have 12 more minutes left on this drive. Can we just talk about the fact there's an Adam and Eve store? Not just online? What? You learn something new every day. They got brick and mortars. You guys, this Target is popping. This one's like really busy. You guys don't even know how much stomach noise I have to edit out in the vlog sometimes because I'm drinking water and it's like, the surgery man makes a lot of, a lot of different sounds. Okay, so show updates. I am currently, I just finished Firefly Lane a few days ago. I started Ginny and Georgia season two. Um, I'm already halfway through it pretty much. It's really good. I love Ginny and Georgia. Um, and then before that, you guys know I watched Dead to Me. So after Vlogmas, I had a lot to watch. So I watched Dead to Me, Firefly Lane. I'm, on, I'm halfway through Gin Ginny and Georgia. And I also started White Lotus, which everyone is telling me to watch. Everyone. It's so crazy how that show just like totally blew up overnight. Like I just feel like all of a sudden everyone was talking about it. Like online, it was so just so popular. So um, I started that too. And I don't usually start two shows at a time. Um, because I just don't like to, but I just wanted to watch one episode and I really liked White Lotus. So I'm going to finish up Ginny and Georgia within the next few days, hopefully, and then we'll watch White Lotus. Um, Yara and I finished Mosquito Coast. I think we finished it. Was it last night? 
I don't know. But we finished it really good. Um, you can tell that there's not going to be a season three. It was just kind of like everything got kind of wrapped up. I won't spoil anything, but really good show. Apple TV does great shows. I've said it a million times. Um, and there's going to be a new season of Truth Be Told. And I love that show with Octavia Spencer. It's a really good show. And what else? I think next year and I are going to watch Acapulco, which is another Apple TV show. And we have, we have a lot of shows. I don't know. But I think that's what we're going to watch next. Since we just watched a drama. It'll be a little bit lighter. It's like a nice little... It's like... It's got like just a nice vibe to it like it's about this this guy's like telling the story to his nephew about his like life when he worked at this famous hotel when he was young it's really good are you just confused as to what we're doing i know i feel like we're gonna be here for a while it's very busy very busy when we're driving he just lays down but when we stop he's like what's the tea what are we doing cupy mayo secured this stuff is so good and then we got our favorite crackers. Anytime I have the, anytime I see them available at Target, because they're not always available, these are the best crackers. The best. And then just some trash bags. I'd say that was a successful trip. Did you just eat your lunch? Was your lunch yummy? Oh, look at that boy. Look at that sweet baby. All right, I am going to edit. <laughs> it's going to probably take a while. So we're going to end this vlog here. And then I'll see you later. All right, love you guys. Bye.